Hello, I'm Graham Gardner, and today I'm going to show you how to use a pendulum chart like this one here. Now, charts for pendulums are quite useful for when you need to uh, get a, a rating or a quantity on something. Like, for example, you might want a percentage rating on the strength of an energy line, or you might want to assess the quality of a sample of water, like, say, in this little file here, to see whether it's uh, drinkable or not, or whether it's polluted. So you can use a chart for that. Um, now, in order to use these charts, it requires a slightly different reaction from your pendulum. And for that reason, I don't normally recommend them to novice dowsers who are just starting out, because uh, it's hard enough just to remember your yes and no responses uh, when you just start dowsing. So, for example, here my yes response uh, is a clockwise circle, and here my no response is an anticlockwise circle. And my search uh, response is just the pendulum going backwards and forwards towards and away from me. And it's this concept that uh, gives rise to how we can use it for a pendulum chart. So we say the front edge of the pendulum here, the edge furthest away from me, is the leading edge. And that is what points to a direction. So I can say to the pendulum, for example, please show me the direction of north. And uh, you see the swing alters until it's actually going side to side. And the leading edge is pointing to my right, which is the direction of north. So, you know, this can be quite useful. So, pendulum, please show me the direction to the nearest water source. Um, you know, pendulum, show me the easiest way back to the car, that sort of thing. Uh, an L rod is much easier, of course, so it's a much more immediate response. But if you only have a pendulum, you can use it in this way. And that's the movement we need to rely on to get accurate responses on these dowsing charts. Uh, the pendulum has to keep moving in a straight line and not go into a circular response one way or the other. So let's have a look at the chart on the table. Uh, it'll be much easier to show what's going on. This is just a simple um, 0 to 10 chart. It goes from 0 in the middle here down to uh, 10 either side. So we say that this side is the negative side and this side is the positive side. So I hold my pendulum over the 0 point here and I start it swinging up and down this central line. So then I can ask, say, if I am quantifying, um, let's say I want to assess the quality of a file of water. I can say, pendulum, please show me on a percentage scale uh, the purity of this water. And the pendulum will then start swinging, still in a straight line, but you see it will go up to one of these sectors. So it takes a little bit of practice to get this, because you're used to your pendulum uh, usually going clockwise or anticlockwise to indicate yes or no. So you have to get used to it just going in a straight line here. If I put it back to zero again, and supposing I had a, a, quant a quality of water that wasn't very good, so I say, uh, please show me the quality of this sample of water. And the pendulum would start going down to the left-hand side, indicating that it was uh, kind of impure. So I'm getting a minus three here, or minus 30%, you would say. So this is a, a good basic chart. It's very adaptable to any situation. It's by no means the only chart available, um, but I do always recommend to keep it simple. So uh, this is the one I use most often, and it covers uh, practically any situation. Uh, the colours here, if you're interested, these are the colours on the um, major rosette, uh, which is normally used to assess the purity of a water sample, but can be useful in other things. Um, let's look at some other charts, though. Uh, this model here is from Letter to Robin, and it's very popular with uh, American dowsers. And you can see it's a little bit more complicated here. And um, this relies on you having a different reaction for yes and no. So for yes, it goes straight up and down here, but for no, it goes um, side to side. This is the method that's taught in the book Letter to Robin, which you can get online at lettertorobin.org. Now you can see we have all these other subdivisions here, which you can assign different things to strong, better, very strong, critical. And ready to question, you start your pendulum up in this position here instead of in the uh, the vertical position. But again, the right hand side of the scale is uh, positive and it goes 1 to 10, and the left hand side of the scale is negative and goes 1 to 10. So if you like using charts, you know, you might want to try experimenting with this. As I say, I always like to keep it simple. Uh, I've got a few more here. Uh, these are some Japanese ones. This one is quite similar. You can see again, let me zoom in a little bit there. Uh, it's kind of similar to that one, but again, it's the same idea. And uh, this is part of a set of six. Here's another version. Uh, this is a very basic one. So your pendulum is in the ready position. Uh, if you ask it for yes, it goes to this side. If you ask it for no, 
it goes to this side and you can have um, uh, don't want to answer uh, no answer maybe and uh, repeat the question uh, here's another one for dowsing the chakras and here is another one past future now physical emotional mental and spiritual so the six charts here uh, this is another one which is kind of useful uh, if you don't need the negative thing if you just want a one to ten you know show me the strength of this energy line on a scale of one to ten you can use this and here you would start um, just in the vertical position again and your pendulum would go to whichever one it wants and finally here is a basic percentage chart uh, again, this goes from 0 on the left to 100 on the right. So, um, charts can get very complicated, and I have a selection of some really complex ones here. Uh, these are by Cathy True. You can find these at truebelievers.com. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to douse these, but there are various ones. So there's an introductory chart here, and you see these use a full circle. Uh, here's a variety here, connecting to the goddess. Here's a, this is a Reiki based one, The Goddess Speaks, Working with the Divine, How the Divine Communicates. Cathy has a whole range of these. As I say, I find they're too complicated to work with, um, so I don't actually use these. But, you know, if you're into charts, it might be worth checking them out. Uh, but as I say, you know, the basic plus or minus is fine for most things. So that's basically it. Enjoy using your charts and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.